Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this time it's going to be a fix it video. Uh, now uh, a lot of people have been asking me a lot of different questions. Now uh, I have been answering a lot of people but then I have realized that my answers are not reaching everyone. So I have started a new category where uh, uh, which is named as fix it simple uh, so whatever questions you have i'm going to start making videos on how to fix them because telling you is easy but um, you may not be able to understand it uh, or maybe you're not uh, techy enough to go through all those steps so i'll be showing you how to fix the issues now uh, this is going to be the first video so this is one thing which i was struggling with i had a problem with and uh, uh, i have seen a lot of people asking about these questions but no one asked me so i found a solution for it and i wanted you to know that too so the solution is for the mi router so basically uh, the mi router is a excellent router just that it's only got uh, 2.5 gigahertz uh, um, uh, wireless it doesn't have the 5 gigahertz range so other than that it's excellent you can actually control the router from anywhere in the world you can connect to it uh, give uh, certain permissions uh, disconnect people connect people uh, restrict the internet speed so all that uh, you can do with the mi router so recently what happened was not recently as in around four months back what happened was uh, I was not able to connect to my router anymore. So I had tried resetting the router. I was uh, I tried uh, uh, different phones. Maybe it's an OS issue or something. But uh, no, it was the router itself. So basically, what was happening is uh, I can do the setup of the router. Setup will run fine. Everything will be done fine. And when I connect back to it then it'll say that you are not connected to the network. So I'll not be able to see the devices connected to the network. I'll not be able to do a speed test. I'll not be able to do any of the things that are available, uh, the plugins, add-ons, I can't use any of them because uh, the app keeps telling you that you are not connected to the router, even though I am. So uh, basically there's a simple fix. So let's talk about that. Okay, so the fix is very simple basically you have to update your router so there is a problem uh, with the router that um, uh, they have fixed it they have got a software update for it but ironically that software update will not come on your phone so on your phone software uh, the mi wi-fi software if you open that up the mi wi-fi software if you open that up uh, you try to check for any update you will not get any update it will say you are up to date but you'll have to log in with a computer so you'll have to log in with a computer, go on to the home page. One uh, uh, now, most probably it'll be 192.168.1.1 for you. If you do not get that, uh, if you don't go to the home page, uh, then there's a possibility there's another router uh, which has taken that IP address on your network, and then you may be using a second router. It depends on your setup. So for that, you'll have to check your IP address and then log into it. So like if you have uh, uh, 192.168. Uh, maybe it's 2.1 or 3.1 or 4.1 or something like that it'll be but in the end it will be one only the uh, third number will change so uh, log in with that and you will reach here this is the home page let me change the angle now because you can't see the screen properly let me change that okay so I'm logged in uh, to my uh, home page so basically I have not logged in I have just uh, come to the home page so I have to put in my password so the, once you put in the password hit the arrow you will log into the router now uh, this shows you a lot of sensitive information like the mac address your serial number uh, which uh, you should not be sharing with anyone so that's why you see that this is uh, this part has been blanked out now there are a lot of phones and devices connected to my network and i see all of them over here so it shows me uh, the connected devices and the bandwidth so that's what i like about this router it shows you uh, which device is using uh, more data what's the bandwidth uh, it can do uh, a lot of different things i'll be making a complete video on that uh, a lot of people have been requesting me to do that but i haven't uh, uh, done that but i will do that very soon so okay let's see how to fix it so basically over here you'll see your name whatever name you've given for your router uh, there's a small arrow press that then you will find an option the second option itself saying updating click that then on top now i have already updated it because i found the update and i updated it so over here it says that the version 2.8.51 router is up to date but mine was not this mine said update and i pressed the update button 
uh, it downloaded the software and started the update from here itself uh, and once the update is done it will restart the router uh, connect back again and your router will start working fine all the functions will start working fine everything will work fine now scenario where you do not have a computer this is also something which a lot of people have asked me uh, in case you don't have a computer don't worry you can log in with your phone uh, go on to chrome browser uh, select the option saying login as desktop uh, or open as desktop website and then go on to 192.168.1.1 open the home page you'll find the same home page like how you saw on the desktop over here uh, go on to uh, the name on top and then select update and then update the router from there so uh, that's strange that uh, the uh, update option only comes with a web browser it does not come with the uh, mi app itself so that's a bug that they should be fixing uh, but uh, that's the solution in case you have a problem with your mi router where you are not able to log in where you're not able to control all the features just go ahead log in with the uh, browser and then update your router it's very simple and it just takes around 5 to 10 minutes maximum depending on your speed i am uh, connected with a 50 mbps uh, connection speed so uh, for me it will be fast i don't know according to your connection speed it will take that much of time but it's a very very small file i don't even remember what's the size because it's done i don't know where it's saved but uh, it's a small file so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video Bye bye